Hi guys, it's Half. I'm back in, and I'm going to be doing a full inspired mini. Um, I forgot to press record, so I kind of got a bit ahead of myself. So I have prepped the two middle nails with white nail polish, and then I used my Born Pretty latex to go round because I'm going to do an ombre. On the other two nails, I have take the stage from OPI. Then um, on a latex free sponge, I have used Essie's Snap Happy uh, Butterfly from Revlon, which is the orange one, and the lighter orangey coloured one is Sunflower from Natio, which is an Aussie brand. So just paint them in stripes on the sponge. And then just dab, dab, dab on the two middle nails. And I'll just keep on doing this until I have a look that I like. Then I'm going to take my tweezers and peel off the latex. I did not want to play ball. I ended up doing about four layers of sponging, if you're wondering. Giving it a little bit of dry time in between each layer. And as you can see, it did not really want to come off the way I wanted it to. Normally this one works fine, but for some reason it was not being a good girl today. After doing that, I am going to take my e.l.f concealer brush with some nail polish remover just to do a little bit more clean up. It was at this point that I realised that that particular red, the Snap Happy from Essie, stains the skin because I never did quite get a proper clean up on this. Um, at this stage I'm using non-acetone nail polish remover. I did actually use some acetone nail polish remover later on and still had a bit of staining. But basically just cleaning up around the edge to make it nice and neat. Then I'm going to put on a layer of Sesh Feet to smooth everything out and prepare it for the next step. The uh, pointer finger and the pinky finger have also got a layer of sesh feet on them already. Uh, I did that before I started filming. So as you can see it just kind of smooths out your sponging, makes it look really good and it's pretty important before you stamp which is what we are going to be doing next. So I have here um, stamping plate, this is BPL026 from Born Pretty Store. Um, I'm going to use that image that looks a bit like maple leaves. I'm going to use dark chocolate from Maybelline Mini, Mini Colorama to do the stamping with. It's kind of a really dark brown that looks almost black. I've cleaned off the plate with some acetone. I have my rectangular stamper which is also from Born Pretty Store. Um, my scraper which I also use as a palette which is why it's got different coloured nail polishes all over it. I'm just going to paint a bit on it then scrape at about a 45 degree angle, pick it up with a stamper and then roll it onto the finger. This one I do kind of out of frame, um, the next one I do slightly better. So you can see that image is like stamped on there. I'm going to take some, this is my, uh, it's like a lint roller. It's the best thing for cleaning off stamping pads, uh, like stampers, because you don't want to put acetone or anything like that on your stamper because you'll just make it all cloudy and it doesn't work quite as well. So I just use that to clean that and then I use pure acetone to clean the stamping plate. And I do the same process, put some polish on it scrape it off, pick it up with the stamper, 
because this is a clear stamper you can see where you're placing it which is what I'm trying to make sure I place it relatively evenly give it a roll press down any bits that are flying up a little bit um, make sure you do all of your clean up before you put anything away it's just it makes it better in the long run now that the stamping has been done I am going to clean my stamping plate again before I put it away move all of that stuff out of my way and then I will show you how I clean up around my nails I try not to use too much uh, remover instead grab some sticky tape take off a small piece and you can then use the sticky tape to pick it up off the skin it's actually really super effective you can use masking tape um, any kind of tape I just happen to have sticky tape in my work area as you can see it just picks it up makes it nice and clean if you have any extra that won't come off with the sticky tape then you can just use nail polish remover to get that off the skin and tidy up around the nails Then I'm going to put on another layer of Sesh Veet to seal all of that in, making sure of course to cap the tips of the nails. Now after giving that a chance to dry on the two middle fingers I'm actually going to put a matte top coat on all of these. If you're wondering why I put glossy top coat on first and then put matte top coat on it's so that the manicure will last a little bit longer. Matte top coat generally makes your nail polish chip faster. So we're putting a quick dry glossy top coat on first and then putting the matte top coat on you can actually extend the life of your manicure. I'm using the Sally Hansen Big Matte Top Coat for this one. And for something a little bit extra, on the pointer finger and the little finger, using a tiny bit of Sesh Feet, I am actually going to put on one of these little crystals just to add some extra interest to the manicure and I'm using an orange wood stick with a little piece of uh, white tack on the end it's like blue tack only it's white and that is it for this one if you want to check everybody else out then click down below on the links um, if you want to subscribe do that and leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos and let me comment down below I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in the next video see ya